welcome back to my channel oh my god has it been more than minutes i know i think it's been three months since i really uploaded consistently i know i uploaded last month but anyways i just wanted to do this intro really quickly and i'm sorry if i'm talking like this is that like i have this um nyx liquid liner and i know if i keep talking and smiling it's going to crack and i'm going to be no longer a superwoman i'm gonna be like a crack doll <laughs> So I'm trying to like really talk like this. So I'm so sorry if I'm sounding like an idiot right now. I apologize right now. And if you don't know where I have been, you can follow me on my social media and you guys know. But I can tell you right now that I got a second job at night time. This is what has been keeping me like really, really busy amongst other things lately. I wanted to do this video because even though today is Halloween, so happy Halloween to all of you that are going to celebrate. I decided to go for this one in particularly because my cousin Vanessa, she actually gave me a bunch of like ideas because I didn't know what to do she said oh superwoman I got the idea from Olivia which is my little niece and she wants to be a supergirl for Halloween so this is gonna be especially for my little niece Olivia and also thank you Vanessa my cousin for like giving me ideas because I was like I don't know what to do so I hope you guys really really like and enjoy in this look that I really been wanting to do this like pop-up superwoman look and I just wanted it to be like so much fun i like the way it came out i hope you guys like and enjoy this if you guys did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i promise you i'm gonna really work very very hard on uploading more consistently right now monday october 31st and it's 4 51 a.m i haven't slept but i wanted to do this for you guys and upload it even if it's the day of halloween if you guys want to see how i came up with this look then keep on watching First, we're gonna start with, oh my gosh, this is what happens when you start filming like after midnight. <laughs> Anyways, I'm using my all-time favorite NYX eyeshadow base. This is a neutral shade. I'm applying this all over my lid. You can apply it with your fingers or with a brush. And I wanna make sure that we have something because we're gonna put a bunch of colors on my lid. I'm going to set the eyeshadow primer. I'm using my Cap on D and this is the peachy shade, actually not the yellow shade, banana. It's called Lyric. And I'm just gonna set this all over my lid with a fluffy blending brush. I'm in a inner corner and I'm like, oh no, 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 honey, we need to deal with this right now. So I'm using my NYX HD concealer. This is in the shade 10. I like this because it's going to cancel out all the purple and darkness going on in the inner corner. And then I'm just going to use my ring finger and just blend it out. And then I'm going to set it with, again, I'm going back with my Kat Von D uh, shade and light. And I'm using a lyric just to set it all over that corner. Yes. Now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. I'm using this uh, single NYX primal color and it's called Hot Red. I'm using this matte red eyeshadow and I'm using my Sigma, oh, such a favorite brush of mine. It's the Small Taper Blending Brush. It's the E45. I like it because it's a little bit more dense and pointy and I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm actually uh, really applying it on the crease. I'm going back and forth, back and forth. It's almost like a cut crease and then I'm going back with my Wet n Wild Fluffy Blending Brush. You just have to keep doing this back and forth until you get the desired intensity of that red eyeshadow. I'm going back again with my NYX eyeshadow primer. I like it because it's a neutral color and now I'm going to really clean out my lid with this. I used at first like an eyeshadow brush and then I ended up using a concealer brush. I really really want it to be as you know sharp as possible clean out those edges make sure it's nice and cut and creased <laughs> and then one thing that i didn't do which i should have done is that i i like to set also the eyeshadow primer with um a powder which i didn't do but i would definitely suggest you to do that just because the eyeshadows are gonna blend out and are gonna go nice and smooth and effortless now we're gonna move on to the lid. I'm using this Milani palette. This one is called Fierce Foiled Eye Shine. This is the number four and it's called Venice. And I'm using this bright uh, navy blue eyeshadow. I'm applying it on the outer corner of the eye. I wanna have like that like three, I don't know, like ombre look uh, on the lid uh, with the colors that, you know, the Superwoman is like that blue, light blue, and that gold yellow eyeshadow. Um, so I'm using this pretty much as a base and I'm gonna put some eyeshadows on top of it. Now we're gonna move on to the next color. This is more of a light blue bright eyeshadow. I love this, such a pretty color. And I'm applying it right next to the dark blue eyeshadow that I applied before, uh, actually that more of that creamy eyeshadow that I applied. And you wanna make sure that you blend out the edges between those two colors because you want that nice 
uh, ombre look. Now we're gonna set these creamy eyeshadows. I'm using the ABH Shadow Couture Palette and I'm using this gorgeous blue eyeshadow. It's called Azure. And I'm pretty much tapping, tap, tap, tap on the outer corner. You don't wanna blend it because you just want that pigmentation to be on point. We're going to set the next eyeshadow. This is a Makeup Geek. This is a metallic, foil metallic eyeshadow. Oh my God, it's been a minute. This one is called, and I'm gonna chop it, it's called Pegasus, Pegasus. I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong, but I'll try to list it down below. It is such a stunning color, I love it. Next, we're gonna move on to this gold stunning eyeshadow. Oh my God, anything that's gold, it's just calling my name. This one is another Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow and it's called Fortune Teller. And as you can see, I'm applying on the inner corner of the eye and then I'm gonna blend out the edges with that eyeshadow next to it. To add a little bit more drama to this eye look, I decided to do a wing liner. I'm using my NYC liquid liner. You guys know the drill and you know how to do this. I did use uh, a Q-tip that is more of a pointy one just to clean out the edges and make sure it gives me that guide so I can do my wing liner because I still struggle. Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to the crown and that star. So I'm pretty much using this nude eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalize. And I'm pretty much sketching how I'm going to do this because I'm like, I don't wanna mess up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually looking at a star and just trying to have an idea and make it as perfect, quote unquote, as possible. For the crown, I'm going to use this dark gold eyeshadow. This one is by Makeup Geek, uh, the foiled eyeshadow. This one is called Untamed, and I'm starting on the outer part of my forehead. I realized that I have little gaps there on the side of my hair, so I'm going to use a black matte eyeshadow. You can use any of them. The one that I'm using is from my ABH Shadow Couture World Traveler palette, and I'm just using it with a fluffy blending brush. I wanted to make the outer part of this crown a little bit more darker, so I use this metallic um, eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. This one is called Showtime. And I ended up using my fingers because I feel like it, the blendability was way better than using a brush. I went back again with the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow, which was called uh, Fortune Teller, and I'm just outlining the outer part of the star, just make sure it's nice and sharp. Now we're gonna move on to the red star. I'm using my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. If you don't have this palette because I know it's very expensive, you can definitely use a red lipstick or a red eye pencil. Now I wanna make sure that this crown has more of a shadow. I went back with my ABH shadow palette. Oh my God, I just dropped something. And I used just a matte brown shade. You can use anything that you have by all means. Now we're gonna outline this whole thing and I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. I used an angle brush, which was so much better, giving me a little bit more of a control. And while I'm at it, I decided to also um, darken out my brows and I used the same gel liner with what I already had on my brows before. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using this DMQ uh, nice shimmery eyeshadow and it's more of a champagne color and I'm just really, really making sure that that is as highlighted as possible. <laughs> I was almost forgetting to outline the star. I went back again with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner and I'm using the angle brush to do that. For foundation, I'm using this new Hourglass Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Honey. I bought this when I went to uh, Gem Beauty and I'm using my Morphe Stippling Brush, which is an M427. Concealer, I use my Urban Decay Skin Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Dark. To add a little bit more dimension to the face, I decided to use my Maybelline B Shape Duo Stick Contour and Highlight. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a, uh, my Sedona brushes to blend out everything and it looks so much better. <laughs> and I'm also going to um, contour my nose as well. And also by the Cupid's bow. You know when we cream contour we need to set it with some powder i'm using my shade and light kat van d palette and this one is called shadow play and i'm just first setting my contour to set the under eye in the highlighted area i'm using lyric which is from the kat van d palette as well to set the rest of my face and my foundation i'm using my bare minerals bare pro uh powder foundation in the shade sable 20 watch 21 <laughs> which i've been loving it lately
a little bit more warmth i'm using my black radiance contour palette and i wanted to use the contour and also the bronzer just to add a little bit more warmth to my face for blush i use this tarte uh, blush palette for that came out a long time ago i use the peachy and the mauvey color make sure you go out of town with the blushes so you have more of a 2d dimensional look I wanted to bake my face just because I wanted to add a little bit more definition and to be more even more highlighted so I went ahead and used my Maybelline translucent HD powder I used my beauty blender and on certain areas so that you can see and then I went ahead and I went back with my Maybelline eye studio gel liner I wanted to make sure that I don't forget my uh, lower lash line so I really went ahead and I made it as black as possible and then I also did the lines on my face to have that pop art look let's not forget to do those lines on the nose which I was shaking because I wanted to make it as straight as possible uh, if you mess up don't worry believe me I did I used some concealer just to make sure it's nice and neat and also I did the nostrils of my nose and around my nose as well Lashes, I use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and my favorite lashes, which is the Lily Lashes in Miami. Now we're going to move on to the lips. I'm using my LA Girl Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner. This is in the shade Lip Berry. For lips, I use this Kat Von D studded lipsticks and I use a darker and a lighter red shade because I wasn't sure which one I liked. Now to give that pop art look on the lips, I decided to outline the lips. I went ahead and I used my Makeup uh, Forever Flash Palette. You can use a liquid liner, so if you want to go out, obviously you want to make sure that it's going to last longer. If not, I wouldn't suggest you to use this Makeup Forever Palette, but I'm outlining it as best as I could. Take your time because, you know, you want this to be as sharp as possible. If you're making mistakes, you can always go back with a concealer. And then I started like shadowing right in between my lips and doing the little lines so it looks more of a two-dimensional look to have that white highlight look on the lip I use my uh, makeup forever flash palette the white um, paint but I didn't like it because I should have used a liquid lipstick uh, for the lips instead I used the lipstick and I felt like it was blending it was making instead of looking white it was looking pink so I didn't like it instead what I ended up doing is I ended up using my NYX uh, liquid liner it's a white liquid liner although you have to be careful because once it dries it dries but then what it does if you start soaking it starts cracking so I know I sound a little bit crazy in the beginning of my intro but you have to be careful but that works so much better than the white paint itself almost forgetting to do the black line on my lid and particularly the crease you want to make sure you do that just to emphasize it a little bit more you can do it either a thin or a thick uh, line I decided to do more of a thick line especially towards the outer part of my eye and it almost gave that double wing look which I actually ended up really really liking it so I use my um, black gel liner Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like and enjoy this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Join me on my social media. And until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween. And I will see you on my next video. Besitos. Bye.